Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's a little bit different. I actually got a package the other day to review the Xeon Smooth 3 uh, smartphone gimbal or kind of stabilizer. So what this package or what this uh, device does for your phone, it can be an Android of course or an iPhone. It really doesn't matter as long as it's a smartphone. And I'll show you guys the uh, the footage. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. That was all filmed with this and the iPhone 7 Plus. No edits and no uh, color correction or color grading was done. Everything was in raw footage. So this right here is the actual package. Of course, I did have to film this uh, prior to doing this because I am I am kind of sick right now, so I kind of sound a little bit different. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I do have allergies and it's kind of hard to talk. So that's why I haven't been putting out a lot of videos and I am going getting closer to the end of the school year. But uh, without that or with that out of the way, I'm taking the package out from here as you can see and once you've taken the uh, kind of cover off of the box there, it's going to bring up a another box as well. Uh, and the other one is in a box, it's just a cover, but it's just a white box and just open that up and go ahead and just fold the sides just like that. And this is a really cool package. The the case that it comes with is actually really cool. It actually reminded me of a, like a ukulele. Uh, case or like a small guitar. I don't know. It just reminded me of that But there is the product the logo embedded on the case there and here is the manual or the instructions the user guide For the product now. I'll leave the product down in the description once it is available for you guys to purchase I'm not sure if it's out yet but I'll keep you guys updated on that in the description of the video. But there is the user guide in case you guys are wondering on how to use this device or how to use this gimbal. Once you guys read the user guide, it will help you a lot. And it really did in my case. So here is the charging port. Also an adapter to connect to your computer to update the actual phone stabilizer, which is pretty cool. It is also a micro USB, so you can charge an Android device with that. So it also comes with a strap. So what the strap does, you can hook it up to the case there on the left. And what that does is it pretty much helps you carry it around without you having to hold the case. So that is a nice feature that they added there. Here is the actual gimbal. It can be very weird when you first pick it up and take it out of the case itself. But here it's a nice build. It's a nice metal matte finish to the uh, the actual stabilizer. It has uh, some buttons here, the manual button and a button to turn it on and to take pictures. On the side, we have the Smooth 3 as well, as well as a settings button to configure the actual device or the stabilizer there. And on the left side, we have the charging port to connect to your computer to charge it as well as a scrolling feature to zoom in and out of your uh, device or the picture. Now, when you turn it on, it's gonna look just like that. And it looks pretty cool at first, but once you hook up a phone to this, it's going to look really, really cool. And like I said, you want to make sure that you read the user guide because that helped me a lot. I'm not going to go through everything to set it up because that will just take a long time. But right there are some prongs where you can put in your phone. Now, I've tried this with the 7 Plus with a big case and it still fits. So you also have this scroll thing. So what you do is you, if you scroll it down, it will move the camera down. And if you move it up or you scroll up a little bit on that little joypad, that will move the actual uh, stabilizer once your phone is connected there. Now you also have some steel bearings on the sides where you guys can loosen that up to make sure that the phone is stabilized once you hook it up or you can do it vertically. So as you can see there, uh, you want to go with the user guide, like I said, because that will just take a long time to do in one video. All of the, you know, all of the links will be down in the description for more info on this. It's pretty cool, guys. I would really suggest you guys do it. If you guys are going to be doing like action based stuff in your videos and you want to get stabilized shots, this is totally the device for you. Like I said, the Smooth 3, be sure to check it out. Link will be down in the description. Be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace. 